Okay. So we moved everything to the left, zero on the right. Get a common denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator of this non fractional part by x minus 2 over x minus 2. Foil this out by going x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, 1 times x is 1x, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So then positive 1x and negative 2x is negative x in the middle. That whole thing was subtracted over to the left side, so we had 0 on the right side, which means I need to distribute that negative through. So that gives me my original problem, 2x squared minus 2x minus 14, subtract the x squared, subtract a negative x, so add x, and then subtract a negative 2, so add 2. That turns this whole numerator into x squared minus x minus 12 all over x minus 2. Greater than or less than or equal to zero. And all I have to do is factor that numerator, it's not hard factoring, into x minus 4 and x plus 3. So then we have three critical values. 2, which is the asymptote that makes the denominator zero, and then 4 and negative 3, which are the x-intercepts that make the numerator zero. Okay, so I've got all that written out over here. Our x-intercepts are at 4 and negative 3. Our asymptote is at 2. So the x-intercepts are included points. The asymptote is not included. So you can see brackets here, parentheses there. I broke my three critical values into four intervals from negative infinity to negative 3, negative 3 to 2, 2 to 4, and 4 to infinity. You can see I've got that written out right here. And then um, we've got test values we can plug in, negative 4, 0, 3, and 5. I plugged those into this modified problem, less than or equal to 0. I find out that when I plug in negative 4, I get a negative answer, which is less than 0, which is true. When I plug in 0, I get a positive answer, which is less than, which is greater than zero, so that interval is false. And then I plug in a positive three, which gives me a negative answer, which is less than zero, so it's true. I plug in a test value of five, and I get a positive value, which is false, because we want less than or equal to zero. So then our solution are the intervals that are negative, because less than or equal to zero which leads us to this answer here. X has to be between negative infinity and negative 3, including negative 3, because it can be 0. And then 2, not including 2, because that's an asymptote, to 4, including 4, because that part's equal to 0, so that's okay. There's our final answer.